I'm Edna Wittular from the Indonesian Biodiversity Foundation. To me, the Earth Charter is an ageless document, and I'm still amazed how it's still very relevant today. Some of us were blessed to be involved in the drafting and witnessed the launch 20 years ago. And our prayers are with our dear colleagues that's not with us anymore. When we read this text, it is like we just drafted that in response to the COVID-19 pandemic and to prepare us all on the quote-unquote new normal. The post-COVID-19 new normal was actually already described in the Earth Charter. So listen to the preamble. We stand at the critical moment in Earth's history, a time when humanity must choose its future. As the world becomes increasingly interdependent and fragile, the future at once holds great peril and great promise. To move forward, we must recognize that in the midst of a magnificent diversity of cultures and life forms, we are one human family and one earth community with a common destiny. It's describing the situation now, right? And when country and society's leaders are grappling for future solutions, we only need to remind them of the following. We must join together to bring forth a sustainable global society founded on respect for nature, universal human rights, economic justice, and a culture of peace. Towards this end, it is imperative that we, the peoples of Earth, declare our responsibility to one another, to the greater community of life, and to future generation. So, no doubt, the Earth Charter is still very relevant today and can be a beacon in directing us to find the way forward post-COVID-19. Dear friends, for me, the Earth Charter has always been my beacon in my journey of life. With the CSOs in diverse fields, I co-founded got environment, consumer protection, philanthropy, women's movement, etc. I maintain and develop further my respect and care for the earth and use the ecological integrity as the base for my actions in building and strengthening human integrity. Later on, in my work with multilateral institutions, international commissions, and the government, the principles of social and economic justice, especially eradicating poverty and gender equality, were some focus of my work. I always tried also to pave the way for more transparency, accountability, and access to justice. Understanding the interdependence and holistic approach of the Earth Charter principles has made it so much easier for me in promoting and working to achieve the Millennium Development Goals and later the Sustainable Development Goals. So, to all of us, let's celebrate the 20th years of the Earth Charter. May it remain the beacon for our future endeavors, including overcoming the COVID-19.